Lord Snowden, the renowned photographer and former husband of Princess Margaret, has died at the age of 86. The Earl of Snowden, who was born Anthony Armstrong Jones, died peacefully at home. He was married to the Queen's sister for 18 years until they divorced in 1978, as Sky's Siobhan Robbins now reports. Him, the first royal rebel, the celebrity photographer who married a princess. Son of a barrister, it was through his work that Anthony Armstrong Jones first met Princess Margaret. The stylish couple soon captured the glamour and excitement of the swinging 60s. Their engagement and subsequent wedding would earn him the title of Earl of Snowdon, the first commoner to wed a king's daughter for 450 years. They hung out with the Beatles, they hung out with Peter Sellers and his wife Britt Eklund. Um, they knew all the celebrities of the day, uh, and yet they were just not quite celebrity, they were royal. Um, and they did normal things, they went out to dinner, they went to nightclubs, they went partying, they went on very glamorous holidays, and, and oh, they did a bit of work as well. At first, the couple seemed to have a fairy tale marriage. They would go on to have two children, David and Sarah. But soon rumors began of ferocious rows and extramarital affairs on both sides. One friend said they traded insults like gunfire. After nearly 16 years together, the rift was irreparable and the pair separated. Two years later, they would divorce, the first royal couple to do so since Henry VIII. I'm, uh naturally desperately sad he would go on to marry Lucy Lindsay Hogg but that also ended in divorce after his long-term mistress took her own life despite his connections Lord Snowden always referred to himself as a snapper his pictures of the royals and celebrities were widely acclaimed today the National Portrait Gallery said his contribution to photography was profound and far-reaching Snowden's was the first portrait Ian Pelham Turner took, who says his work was iconic. His style of photography was really probably some of the most unusual but very vibrant photographs at the same time. They were always natural. He had this wonderful technique of using daylight, and he is one of the few photographers in Britain to actually use daylight studios. And so in that way, he, there was no gimmicks with any of his work. He actually really captured the essence of the portrait. Throughout his life, he battled with the effects of childhood polio and was a tireless campaigner for the disabled. A man of many talents, he also designed the London Zoo Avery, an electric wheelchair and a revolutionary hearing aid. But despite all of his accomplishments, Lord Snowden will fondly be remembered as the photographer who married a princess. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News. Time now to have a look at the weather. While East Asia enjoys a pleasant evening, inspiration blooms in